I'm so thankful for everything you've done. I'm so thankful for everything you've done. Thanks for being in my corner. Thanks for being in my corner. Thank you for all your hard work and effort. Thank you for all your hard work and effort. I'm here to make learning easy for you. I'm here to make learning easy for you. I hope I can make learning easy for you. I hope I can make learning easy for you. I'll do my best to make learning easy. I'll do my best to make learning easy. Call me when you get home. Call me when you get home. I'll call you when I get home. I'll call you when I get home. I'll call you when I get home. Why didn't you call me when you got home? Why didn't you call me when you got home? Why didn't you call me when you got home? I'd rather stay at home tonight. I'd rather stay at home tonight. I'd rather stay at home tonight. I'd rather not stay at home tonight. I'd rather not stay at home tonight. I'd rather not stay at home tonight. I'd rather talk about this later. I'd rather talk about this later. I'd rather talk about this later. I'll be back in an hour. I'll be back in an hour. I'll be back in an hour. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What do you worry about? 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 I don't worry about it. 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 I can't help thinking 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 about it. I can't help smiling when I see her. I can't help smiling when I see her. I can't help smiling when I see her. I can't help eating so much. 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 I can't help loving you. I can't help loving you. I can't help 
biting my nails when I am nervous. I can help biting my nails when I am nervous. I can help biting my nails when I am nervous. I can help shopping so much. I can help shopping so much. Let me know. Let me know if you need anything. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know if you need anything. Let me know if you want to go. Let me know if you want to go. Let me know if you want to go. Let me know if you can come. Let me know if you can come. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know if you can come. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like explaining. I don't feel like explaining. I don't feel like explaining. I don't feel like going to bed. I don't feel like going to bed. Could you? Could you or could you? Could you give me a lift? Could you give me a lift? Could you pick me up? Could you pick me up? Could you let me off? Could you let me off? Don't bother yourself. Yourself. Don't bother yourself. Don't bother yourself. Don't bother trying to persuade me. Don't bother. Don't bother. Don't bother trying to persuade me. I'll get you a chair. No, please don't bother. I'll get you a chair. No, please don't bother. I've decided to accept the job. I've, I have, I've decided to accept the job. I've decided not to accept the job. I've decided not to accept the job. I've decided to get a new job. New job or new job. I've decided to get a new job. I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you. I have something to ask you. I have something to ask you. Do you have something to tell me? Do you have something to tell me? Have you been waiting long? Have you been waiting long? Have you been waiting long? I haven't been waiting so long. I haven't been waiting so long. I haven't been waiting so long. I've been. I have been. I've been waiting since 8.30. Since 8.30. I've been waiting since 8.30. I'd like a glass of cold water. I'd like a glass of cold water. Would you like, would you like, or would you like, would you like anything to drink? Would you like anything to drink? I'd like a cup of tea. I'd like a cup of tea. 
How exciting the movie was. How exciting the movie was. How beautiful the girl was. How beautiful the girl was. How boring the movie was. How boring the movie was. She made me wait for half an hour. She made me wait for half an hour. Why do you make me wait so long? Why do you make me wait so long? Sorry I made you wait so long. Sorry I made you wait so long. Can I ask you something? Can I? Can I or can I? Can I? Can I ask you something? Let me know if you need something. Let me know if you need something. Is there something you want to say? Is there something you want to say? Want to say or want to say? Is there something you want to say? He lacks the talent to be an actor. He lacks the talent to be an actor. Her only problem is a lack of confidence. Her only problem is a lack of confidence. Con confidence. She certainly has no lack of friends. She certainly has no lack of friends. It means she has a lot of friends. I can't afford to buy an expensive car. I can't afford. It means I can't buy. I can't afford to buy an expensive car. We were too poor to afford a doctor. We were too poor to afford a doctor. I need a larger house, but I can't afford the prices. I need a larger house, but I can't afford the prices. I can't tell you what an honor this is. I can't tell you what an honor this is. I can't tell you what an honor this is. It is an honor to meet you. Meet you or meet you. It's an honor to meet you. It was an honor to be with you. It was an an it was an honor to be with you. To be with you. Honor. Honor. I finished the work in less than an hour. I finished the work in less than an hour. Why haven't you finished the work yet? Why haven't you finished the work yet? I hope I finished the work in less than an hour. I hope I finish the work in less than an hour. There was an accident at the intersection. There was an accident at the intersection. I think there is an accident there. I think there is an accident there. She was injured in a car accident. She was injured in a car accident. Have you ever cheated on an exam? Have you ever cheated on an exam? I love my wife and I would never cheat. I love my wife and I would never cheat. I caught him cheating on the exam. I caught him cheating on the exam.
caught him caught him cheating cheating i caught him cheating on the exam they must have had an accident they must have had an accident she must have been sick she must have been sick he must have forgotten to call he must have forgotten to call we need to reach an agreement we need to reach an agreement agreement i think it's time for us to come to an agreement i think it's time for us to come to an agreement let us help you we say let us let us help you to reach agreement let us help you to reach agreement take an umbrella with you just in case take an umbrella with you just in case bring some cash just in case bring some cash just in case take a sandwich with you just in case take a sandwich with you just in case just do what's necessary and then leave just do what's necessary and then leave it wasn't necessary for him to be there it wasn't necessary for him to be there is it necessary for all of us to be present at the meeting there are five people in my family so you can change it for example there are four people there are three people in my family or you could say there are five people in our family we live in a house downtown we live in a house downtown downtown means city center or the center of the town you could say we live in a house in the suburbs it's not downtown it's in the suburbs my father is a carpenter my father is a carpenter so it's talking about his father for example my father is an engineer my father is a doctor my father is a dentist my father is a carpenter my mother works at a local hospital so where does she work she works at a local hospital where does your mom work my mom works my mother works my mother is 40 my mother is 40 so how old is she she is 40 what about you how old is your mother how old is she i have one older brother older or younger i have a younger brother i have an older brother or i have one older sister you can talk about your sisters i have one younger sister one younger sister i'm the second child in my family i'm the second child in my family so you can be the third or the first uh -huh. you are the oldest the oldest child i'm the second child in my family my mother likes cooking so what does she like she likes cooking i often eat out 
on weekends. What is the meaning of eat out or eat out? Eat out means going to the restaurants. I often eat out on weekends. Weekends. There are many restaurants in my neighborhood. Neighborhood is the area you are living. Okay, so there are many restaurants. You can say there are many shops. There are many cafes. I'm interested in Asian food. I'm interested in. It means I really like. I'm interested in Asian food. I'm interested in Italian food. I'm interested in Indian food. I, I really like Indian food. Let me say hello to Indians here. So I'm interested in Asian. I'm on a diet now. Sometimes you are on a diet. So you can't eat so much. You can't eat fatty food. Okay, so I'm on a diet. The youth, youth means young people. The youth in my country are big fans of fast food. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there are many people worldwide. There are they are big fans of fast food. It's not healthy. It's totally unhealthy. So, big fans. It means they love that so much. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of, uh, let's say, my mommy, my mommy co cooking. Okay, I'm a big fan of my mother's cooking. I've visited many countries so far. So far means until now. I've visited many countries. What is the meaning of I've? It means I have. I have visited. Huh? I've visited many countries. I've visited many cities. I've visited uh, many, for example, um, let's say, shopping centers in town. Paris is my favorite tourist attraction. Paris, Paris is my favorite tourist attraction. Tourist attraction is a kind of place where tourists and visitors go to see something interesting. For example, Paris has Eiffel Tower. So it's a kind of tourist attraction. There are a lot of people visiting Eiffel Tower every year. Paris is my favorite tourist attraction. I came to Italy last year for a business trip. Okay, how do you pronounce this word? Italy. Okay, it's not Italy or Italy or Italy. No, you say Italy or Italy. I came to Italy last year for a business trip. I often go sightseeing during my trip. Go sightseeing. It means uh, go and visit places. I often go sightseeing during my trip. I prefer traveling by planes than cars. Yes, I prefer to travel or traveling by planes than cars. It means I don't like cars. I prefer to travel by planes. It can be a little expensive. Okay, see this sentence is showing that the person is not sure about it. So he says, it can be. He doesn't say, it is expensive. It can be a little expensive. I read books. Oh, sorry. I read books. I read books almost every night. Read. The past is read. 
I read books last night. Okay? But I read books almost every night. I love reading about different cultures. I love reading about different cultures. American culture, Indian culture, European culture. So, a lot of cultures around the world. Iranian, Iranian cultures. Books can broaden my horizon. Okay? Books can broaden my horizon. Mm -hmm. It means it can improve my thinking. I read books in the library. Where do you read books? So you answer, I read books in the library. Some people read books in the park or I read books in my room, in my cozy room. It usually takes me a week to finish a 300 page book. So uh, let's say how long does it take? It takes a week. It usually takes me a week to finish a 300 page book. I have been using it since 2021. I have or I've been using it since 2021. Most useful websites are written in English. It's a fact. Most useful. See, we don't say useful. It's use, useful. We don't say fool. We say full. Useful websites are written written in english i'm not quite sure i'm not quite sure it means i'm not sure completely i'm not quite sure you should choose your sources carefully you should choose your sources carefully I spent my childhood in rural areas. Rural areas means in the suburbs. It's not in the city. It's not in the town. Rural areas. Uh, opposite is urban. Urban areas. Okay? I spent my childhood in rural areas. When I was 10, I dreamed of being a scientist. Okay, you can change it to your own sentence. When I was 12, I dreamed of being a teacher. <laughs> it's easy, see? So, you can change your age and the job you wanted to have. When I was, when I was, I dreamed of being someone. My grandmother's house reminds me of my childhood. My grandmother's house. See, we have S. It's apostrophe because uh, the house is for grandmother. So, my grandmother's house, my mom's house, my father's house, all of them have S. Reminds me of my childhood. It means I remember my childhood when I go to my grandmother's house. I'm more mature now. I'm more mature now. It means I can understand more now. There are six rooms in my house. How many rooms are there? There are six rooms. A living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a kitchen. So, how many rooms? A living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a kitchen. We have six. My bedroom is on the first floor. We have first floor, second floor, third floor. My bedroom is on the, see, on the, on the first floor. Can I, can I say it's in the first floor? No, it's on the first floor. My room is painted blue. 
My room is painted. For example, my room is painted white. My room is painted pink. It's not very spacious. Spacious means very big. So it's not very spacious. It doesn't have space. My room contains a bed and a desk. My room, it contains, it means it has. My room has a bed and a desk. Everyone in my family has their own room. My mother, my father, and my sister, for example, they all have their own room. Own room is the room you have for yourself. What's the date today? What's the date today? For example, uh, it's, uh, let's say, January uh, the 2nd or January 2nd, okay? Or you can say, it's Thursday, it's Tuesday. What's this called in English? What's this called in English? I can't remember. I can't remember. How do you say passport in English? Oh, yeah, all right, we say passport. How do you say passport in English? Could, could have your address, oh, sorry, could I have, could I have your address? So you are asking someone for her address, so you can say, could I have your address? Could I have your phone number? So it's very formal. It's, it's, it's very, let's say, it's not rude, it's not informal. Could I have your phone number when you, when you don't know someone and you are, uh, let's say, meeting him for the first time? You can say, you can't say, can I have your phone number or please give me your phone number, all right? It's, it's not true, it's not right. Could I have your phone number? What do you do in Paris? What do you do means, what's your job? What's your job in Paris? Have you got any children? Have you got? Have you got means do you have? Do you have any children? Have you got any children? I was born in Tehran. I was born in Baghdad. I was born in Istanbul. I was born in, for example, Spain. There are five of us in my family. There are five of us. It means uh, our family includes five people. My sister is younger than me. My sister is younger than me. Or I'm older than my sister. I'm older. My mom and dad got divorced. Oh, I'm so sorry. My mom and dad got divorced. Got divorced. The opposite is got married. So divorced, married. How tall are you? How tall? How much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? For example, how tall are you? I'm 1.8 meters tall. I'm 1.8 meters tall. How much do you weigh? I'm almost 90, 90 kilograms. He's very attractive. He's very attractive. Attractive means beautiful, good looking. He is overweight. Overweight means fat, but we can't say fat. Fat is a kind of rude word. We can't say to people, they get upset, really. So you can say, he is or you are overweight. She is in her mid-30s. For example, she is around 34, 35. 
They are really friendly to me. They are really friendly to me. She is very serious. Serious or funny. Okay? We can say someone is funny. It means uh, she smiles and she laughs. But some people are serious. They don't laugh. They are strict and they are very serious. She is very serious. We are complete opposites. We are complete opposites. It means we are totally different. She is very sociable. Sociable means outgoing, means friendly. She is very sociable. We shared a flat. It means we are living together in a flat, in an apartment. I am very organized and tidy. I'm very organized and tidy. Max is my partner. Max is my partner. We have been together for two years. We have been together for two years. It was easy for us to get to know. It was easy for us to get to know. We have a good relationship. We have a good relationship. I get on very well with him. I get on very well with him. I've known her for a long time. I've, I have. I've known her for a long time. I go to the gym every afternoon. I go to the gym every afternoon. The weather is very changeable. It means it changes a lot. My country is enormous. Enormous. It means very big. My country is enormous. Public transport is terrible. Public transportation or public transport is terrible. Would you happen to know where the library is? Would you happen to know? Let me think for a moment. Let me think for a moment. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Would you mind repeating that? It's very formal. Would you mind repeating that? I'm afraid I have no ideas. I'm afraid means I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have no ideas. I'm afraid I have no ideas. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best restaurant in town. As far as I'm concerned means as I know, as far as I know. I don't have an opinion on the matter. I don't have an opinion means I don't have an idea. I agree with you a hundred percent. I agree with you a hundred percent. I think you're mistaken. I think you're mistaken. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Do you know? It means, do you understand? Do you get? Do you get what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Number two is, do you need anything? Do you need? Do you want anything? If it is she, so it is, does she? Does she need anything? Does he need anything? Does he need anything? Do you need anything? Now, what is the answer? I don't need anything. No, thanks. I don't need anything. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. Rocket science refers to something very difficult. It's not rocket science, it means it's not very difficult. It doesn't need uh, thinking a lot, okay? So, it's not 
rocket science. It's almost easy. How can I get there? How can I get there? All right, you are on the street and uh, you want to get to the, for, for example, the post office. So uh, you find someone and you ask this, how can I get to the post office? How can I get to the bank? How can I get to the gas station? It's a very common expression in English. You can use it in everyday life, everyday English. All right. How can I? I don't say can. I say I say can. How can I get there? How can I get there? God bless you. God bless you. A different pronunciation is this. God bless you. Bless you. God bless you. The next one is how long will you stay? How long will you stay? Imagine you have a guest and you want to know how long she will stay. So you can ask this. How long will you stay? How long are you here? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It means it's not important. It doesn't matter. Not a big deal. It doesn't matter. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. It means say your name, your family name, your first name, and uh, your career. Talk about yourself. Introduce yourself. Have a good time. Have a good time. Or have a good day. They are the same. Have a good time. Have a good day. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. It means please help me. Give me a hand. I apologize. It's a very formal way to say sorry. I apologize. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Handle it. It means I can deal with it. I can solve this problem. I don't need your help. I'll handle it. I'll handle it myself. The next one is, I'm not home right now. I'm not home right now. How beautiful this city is. How beautiful this city is. Beautiful, pretty, nice. How beautiful. For, or, for example, how beautiful your car is. How beautiful your girl is. How beautiful your house is. How beautiful your room is. So you can change it. You can, you can make different sentences with this. How beautiful this city is. You're such a liar. You're such a liar. Liar. You're such a liar. You're such a kind man. You're such a kind man. Or for example, you're such a nice man. You're such a nice person. You're such a good friend. Just change the words. You're such a kind man. You're such a good man. You're such a, let's say, um, friendly person. You're such a lovely, lovely girl. Help yourself. You can say that to your guests. Help yourself. Help yourself. Or make yourself at home. It means uh, don't stand on ceremony. Help yourself. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Which one do you want? The answer is like something like this. I'd prefer, I'd prefer the black one. Or I'd prefer to stay here. I prefer that one. All right, so this is the answer. I prefer the black one. I prefer the blue one. I prefer the one on top. The one on top of the shelf. All right, so you can have different answers. I'm tied up. I'm tied up. 
It means uh, I have a lot to do. I'm tied up. It's no use talking to him. It's no use talking to him. It's no use. It's not useful to talk to him. It's no use talking to him. So you have to put uh, gerund verbs here. See, it's no use talking. It's no use calling. It's no use, for example, speaking. It's no use going. All right. So it's no use going there. It means don't go there. It's no use. It's no use going there. It's no use calling her. She doesn't answer. It's no use. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Waste time. Don't waste energy. See? Don't waste energy. She has lost a lot of weight. She has lost. The opposite is gained. She has gained a lot of weight. She has lost a lot of weight. How much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? For example, I'm 90 kilograms. How much do you weigh? How tall are you? How tall are you? I'm uh, 1.80. Okay. How tall are you? 1.80 meters. Why don't you tell him yourself? Why don't you tell him yourself? Why do you want me to tell him? Tell him yourself. Why don't you tell him yourself? I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of you. Or I'm so proud of you. It's in your interest to do it. It's in your interest. It means uh, actually it's beneficial to you. It's in your interest to do it. Or it's in your interest to accept it. It's in your interest to accept it. See? It's, a, it's in your interest to accept the contract. It reminds me of you. It reminds me of you. For example, uh, you are listening to a song. So, uh, it, reminds, it reminds you of your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> it reminds me of you or this song reminds me of you it's likely to happen it means it will possibly happen it's likely probably happen it's likely to happen i'm in charge of this company i'm in charge it means i'm responsible i'm responsible i'm in charge i'm the boss in this company. I'm in charge of this company. I'm in charge of this family. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. I don't look for any trouble. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I've been through. It's very common especially in movies, you don't know what I've been through. It means you don't know how difficult it was for me, how difficult the situation was for me. You don't know what I've been through. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. For example, you have bought a new device, a new gadget, all right? But you don't know how to work with it. You don't know how it works. So your friend says to you that it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. I can't take it anymore. It means I can't bear it. I can't take it anymore. For example, uh, I'm tired. 
I'm tired of my job and I can't take it anymore. He is unbeatable. Unbeatable or unbeatable. Unbeatable. It means no one can defeat him. He's unbeatable. He's unbeatable. She's a bit nervous. She's a bit nervous. Nervous or anxious or worried. She's a bit worried. She's a bit nervous. I'm starving. Starving means very hungry. I'm starving right now. I'm starving. Let's grab a bite. Let's eat something. I'm starving. Sorry for what I did yesterday. Sorry for what I did. Or for example, sorry for what I told you yesterday. Sorry for what I said yesterday. How would you like to pay? How would you like to pay? You may want to pay in cash or pay by your credit card. So how would you like to pay? Will that be cash or credit? Will that be cash? Is it money or credit or it is credit card? Can I help you with anything else? Can I help you? with anything else do you need help with anything else would you like that gift wrapped would you like that gift wrapped could i have a receipt please you are at a restaurant uh, so you need a receipt could i have a receipt could i have a bill uh, something like this bill or receipt can I speak to the manager, please? We don't say manager, we say manager. Can I speak to the manager, please? What's done is done. What's done is done. Where does this road lead to? It means where does this road go? Where does it lead to? What's the next? What are you staring at? What are you looking at? What are you staring at? Don't make excuses. Don't make excuses. Don't talk nonsense. Don't talk nonsense. It means don't say bullshit. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it think about it or don't even talk about it i can't stop thinking about you you can say that you to your new girlfriend <laughs> i can't stop thinking about you i can't stop thinking about you stop nagging please stop nagging please don't nag stop nagging the next one is it's very nice of you it's very nice it's very kind or it's very sweet of you it's very nice of you i'll do my best i'll do my best when will the train arrive when will the train we can change the train for example when will the bus arrive when will the taxi arrive the next one it was the least i could do it was the least i could do when someone says thank you thank you for what you've done for me you can say this it was the least I could do. It means no problem, no worries. Mm, or for example, you're welcome. Nothing. It was nothing I did. It, I, or it was the least I could do. I need some time to think. I need some time to think. I need some time to think about it. Or I need some time to think about your offer. To think about your suggestion. I wonder what will happen next. 
I wonder what will happen next. It's going to be a busy day today. It's going to be a busy day today. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. It means it's not sensible. That doesn't make sense. Why are you so silent today? Why are you so silent today? It means why are you so quiet today? It's a mystery to me. It's a mystery to me. It means I don't know about it. It's a mystery to me. I miss your laughter. I miss your laughter. Stop making that noise. Stop making that noise. Or don't make that noise. I need to take a shower. I need to take a shower. You take a shower or you take a bath. I need to take a shower. I can't wait any longer. I can't wait any longer. Use your brain sometimes. Use your brain sometimes. It means think carefully. Think more. Use your brain sometimes. Let's grab a bite to eat. For example, we are so hungry. Uh, let's grab a bite to eat. It means let's eat something. Let's grab a bite to eat. You look totally different. You look totally different. Totally. Totally. You look totally different. Can I lend some money? Can I lend some money? Or can I borrow some money? Lend, borrow. Lend means give money. Borrow means get money. Can I lend? Can I borrow some money? I'm too busy at the moment. I'm too busy at the moment. What can be done right now? What can be done? What can we do? What can be done? I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. I hope I feel better tomorrow. I hope I feel better tomorrow. Fasten your seatbelt. Fasten your seatbelt. Don't forget to fasten your seatbelt. I've never felt happier. I've or I have never felt happier. I haven't spoken to her for a while. I haven't spoken to her for a while. I have been up all night. I have been up all night. It means I stayed up. And uh, it means I didn't sleep last night. I have been up. I've been up all night. How can I trust you? How can I trust you? Congratulations on your wedding. Congratulations on your wedding. There is no room to make any mistakes. There is no room. It means we can't make any mistakes. We don't have any chance. There is no room to make any mistakes. I need to leave right now. I need to go. I need to leave. I need to leave right now. The shop has closed down. The shop has closed down. Never believe everything you hear. Never believe everything you hear. You're getting on my nerves. It means you're making me crazy. You're getting on my nerves. 
take a deep breath take a deep breath i never knew you could do that i never knew you could do that please don't take this to heart please don't take this to heart it means don't take this personally don't take this to heart let me know when you're free let me know it means tell me let me know when you're free please take my advice please take my advice it means please listen to me relax and take a deep breath relax and take a deep breath you make me smile every time i see you you make me smile every time i see you you learn something new every day you learn something new every day i usually finish work around five i usually finish work around five there is no going back there's no going back that's not fair that's not fair all right thank you guys for your kind attention i hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned something new don't forget to subscribe the channel and leave a comment below see you next time